I'm double jointed. So this might be one of my problems, guys. Ah, I think I'm broken. Ah, I'm dying. Ah. This is what happens when you put two neurodivergent people in a room with a box full of costume shit. It's just madness. Madness. Redneck Wonderland exclusive, motherfuckers. What are we doing today? We're eating canned peaches. And they're fucking finger looking good, motherfuckers! Mm. I'm hypermanic this morning, waiting on a bunch of Benadryl to kick in. So I can go to fucking sleep. Because so I was supposed to do blood work, but I have a crazy ass phobia. And oh, I'm not doing it! It just rem- oh man. I'm gonna try not to be funny right now and make this an actual coping skills video. I have flashbacks really bad thinking about all this shit, so it's hard to even talk about it. And they wonder why we haven't gotten further in therapy. Like, I wonder, man. I've been abused my whole life, sexually, physically. I've been fighting people for years. Stay calm is for me, but it's for the other people so I don't collapse my knuckles on their face again. This is why I like Upchurch. He's just cussing and swearing, and he's just a real country that's another point I should get at all you good old country boys should be out there protecting motherfuckers looking out for good people no matter what no matter how they identify what gender they are it shouldn't matter if they're a decent person and they're not hurting people you should be standing up for them not fucking beating on them because they're queer I'm fucking tired of upper Michigan being full of gay bashers all these old country boys just wait. We're arming up. You us think queer we're stupid? Folk. Hopefully, I get that in editing. Like I have a proper Kevlar bulletproof vest, multi-layered that I can add plates to. Like I'm prepared. If people want to come with some heavy artillery, well, I'm, I'm prepared. Legal and quit smoking weed. I'm trying to arrange with my doctors to have a decent. Uh, what do you call it? med routine set up to take the place of weed and caffeine that's another addiction I'm breaking and nicotine's going all that shit cause that's how I've been coping caffeine, nicotine and weed is how I've been coping with severe ADHD neurodivergence my whole life that's how I've numbed myself so I could tell myself it's okay it's normal that people are attacking you for being different you know just bottle it up just be less different fuck that be more different motherfuckers that's what I want to tell you. Be more fucking different. That's why I started doing my own tattoos and I spent years debating about doing it and learning the proper way to do it. I am not suggesting you go do this shit on a whim. Take your fucking time. People see me acting all crazy and you assume that I haven't thought about this shit for years. Years, okay? So don't be making assumptions because that makes an ass out of you and me. And that was backwards, but I don't give a fuck, okay? This is one of the tattoo ideas I'm working on. It's like a hot rod Tinkerbell. I want to put her on my leg. I kind of want to find her like a, a Peter Pan to go along on the other leg, but we'll see. We'll see if I get that far. I don't think I'm going to be skilled enough to pull something this big off and make it look clean. That's why I like sticking with my weird little colorful stuff, random stuff, full send motherfuckers i hope that's on camera yeah in my runes that's for Funny my ancestors it gives me a headache constantly and, and i'm pretty sure my forehead is probably swollen still from my birthday the fifth and sixth there's a big ass ridge right there for me just headbutt shit over all the years that's what i'm feeling i think but it's like there's pressure there hopefully his fucking benadryl kicks in soon that's the goal actually i feel like i've probably headbutt something recently because i don't remember this but I barely look in a mirror, I have no water up in this bitch, so I'm usually just making random videos outside or whatever, editing videos on the laptop, fucking, or listening to music, like now, I got it just blasting, I turned it on at like 5am, I have wonderful neighbors, they, they definitely hear the bass at minimum, and they don't ever bother me. I don't ever have calls anymore. I've explained to people why it happens. I get manic as fuck because I'm trying to fight a bunch of crazy ass phobias that involve multiple crazy problematic times in my life. And it just sets me off really bad. 
And then all the pain I'm already feeling is amplified by my manic episode, and I just... I shut down. Like, my, I should check my blood pressure on camera now. We're gonna do this. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting about these. This is my original tattoo I got from my friend Michelle at Impaled Tattoo. This woman that did this tattoo is a badass. She's part of what started me on my real journey to recovery. That's why I like to hashtag we recover every time I do. I'm thinking about Michelle at Impaled Tattoo. But all the rest I did myself as therapy to deal with this <laughs> needle phobia that gets me like I am today. I mean, I've been on it since last night. I slept like three hours and woke up at the crack of dawn. It was like midnight the first time. And then one or two again, because I laid down from midnight till one. Then I finally got up and did something. I have to look at my cameras to verify any of it. Oh, I might have. Uh, I got to stop moving and talking for a second. Not as bad as I thought. It says 113 over 155. It's probably going to be reversed on this, but and the bottom number is my pulse 66. Not as bad as I thought, but that's probably because I've been on this uh, blood pressure. Yeah. It's cooler out here. Uh, that's also why I haven't shaved in forever because it's a pain in the ass when you don't have flowing water. Got some ingrown hairs rocking up here. Got some dark ass eyes, guys. Fuck my life. That's what makeup's for, though, right? Uh, what else should I say? What else is a good coping mechanism? Fuck, man. That Benadryl slowly but surely kicking in. Be nap time for me soon. If I ever get surgery, it won't be laser, it'll be nose surgery. I need a bigger nose. Switch camera. Oh. I'm double jointed. So this might be one of my problems, guys. Ah, oh, I think I'm broken. Ah! Oh, that's gonna be a short. <laughs> that's where I'm gonna end this, alright? Peace. I gotta go stretch that out. That's gonna hurt. I'm gonna feel that one later.